Hi there, it's Martin Sutton here, founder of Songwriting Academy. And in this video, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to generate lyrical ideas. The reason I'm doing this, I have so many people contacting me saying, where do I get my ideas from? Why am I just not able to even start a song? And this is what I call meandering, when people sit in a room with a guitar or a piano and hope for the best. They're just waiting for the muse to come to them. Well, there's no need for that ever to happen where you just hit a brick wall and you can't even start a song. And the way that I do this is that I have in my pocket, in my phone, uh, on my laptop, I have loads and loads of lyrical one-liners and just an idea about what the plot might be behind those one-liners, which means that every time I go into a session, either by myself or when I'm collaborating with people, it means that I can put forward a load of suggestions about what we can write about on any given day. So I never ever get writer's block from that perspective. Of course, it doesn't mean my collaborators are gonna like my ideas, but at least I've been professional and presented loads and loads of different suggestions. So where do we get these ideas? Well, I've got to tell you, they're absolutely everywhere. You've just got to open your eyes and your ears and find these ideas. And um, I'm going to tell you just a few of my go-to places for getting these ideas. So first of all, um, movies and TV. Instead of just watching a movie and when there's a great line in a movie like you had me at hello or you complete me or we're going to need a bigger boat or you can't handle the truth. Instead of just going, oh my gosh, what a great line that was. Write the darn thing down. Put it on your list of ideas. I'm still amazed that nobody has written a song called you can't handle the truth. Everybody knows this quote um, from the great movie A Few Good Men. And um, nobody's written it yet, but you know what? If there was a title, if there was a line in a song that went, you can't handle the truth, people would all automatically just feel familiar with the song. And I've got to tell you that I've had several hit songs from lines that I've seen in movies, TV shows. They've generated a whole kind of plot for me that I've then gone on to sell a bunch of records with. So instead of just going, oh, what a great line, write the thing down and put it on your list of ideas. Secondly, personal experience is, um, of course, that's going to be one of the things that we write about the most because this is something that we feel, you know, when we get our hearts broken, uh, when we fall in love, when we lose somebody, when we find somebody, these are all big moments in our lives and we're writing about the human condition. So when things are happening to you, I would suggest write down your feelings about what's actually happening. And so you can remember the feeling that you had at that time. And that's also great ammunition for songs. Um, conversations, I've, <laughs> I saw this great t-shirt that once said, um, I'm not eavesdropping, I'm a songwriter, this is research. So listen to conversations between other people. Um, obviously within the realms of the law, um, but also really listen to the conversations that you're having with other people and listen to the, the way that they say certain things, the way that they express their feelings. There's been, again, so many lines that I've had, uh, that I've turned into songs from conversations that I've had with other people. And people don't know, the general public don't know that often they're speaking in wonderful lyrical terms. So again, write these things down. Um, one of my favorites is going into a bookstore or you can go online and look at um, bookstores online and look at book titles. Now, if you think about this, the public, when they're looking at book titles, are, are attracted to certain books just because of a few words written on that front cover. So if the public can be um, attracted to a title of a book and inspired to pick it up and start reading it then think about how that might be as a song title as well this is a great place to find different ways of saying things that really really fire the imagination up so book titles are great for this and speaking of the written word newspapers are a great source of song titles as well especially the really cheap newspapers with sensationalist headlines what they do is that the newspaper companies actually pay hundreds of thousands of dollars every year to have people do these headlines, the wordplay itself. And so you'll often find very familiar phrases 
that have been twisted around to um, so they look familiar however they're twisted around to have a different meaning um, so check out the newspapers and while you're in the newspaper go to the horse racing pages because horse names are great as well I once saw a great um, horse name called Hollow Heart and immediately I was thinking oh my gosh that's a great song title I saw another one called um, Hands of Stone and again, I, do you know what? You don't always have to know what the song is about, but when something appeals to you, then write it down. I still don't know exactly what Hands of Stone would be about, but it's a great, it feels to me like a great title. Um, so hopefully you're not going to steal that one and write it yourself. Um, so yes, go into the newspapers. My, I would say my biggest source of inspiration um, is when I collaborate with people. I used to go into a session and say, here are all of my titles, bang, 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 and just throw them all out there. And of course, we used to be able to write something, but there's nothing as interesting as real life. So when I go into a collaboration with someone, before I pick up a guitar, before I pick up a piano, what I'll be doing is I will sit down and just talk to my collaborators about life, the universe, and everything. And I've had so many occasions where I've taken the time to do this and something dramatic has been happening in that person's life. And as we're talking through it, I'm making notes about what's going on in their life. And usually at some point, a title will just pop out. And I know that when we write that song, that it's gonna have resonance to the person that I'm writing with. There's gonna be a lot of passion, a lot of desire um, for this to be written from that other person because everybody wants to express themselves. And my job as a songwriter, especially when I'm collaborating with an artist, is to facilitate um, their feelings into a song. Um, because I know that if it's something that really matters to that artist and we write about it, they're gonna go back to their record label, their manager, um, their publisher and say, I have to release this song because it's really important to me. So really take time to talk to your collaborators about life, the universe and everything and just make notes as you go along. That's a fantastic way to, um, to find real life um, song titles that have resonance to people. The final one is something called free writing. You know, when we're sitting in a collaboration and we're talking to people and we're asking them questions about themselves, um, it's far easier to do this if we're practiced at asking the right kind of questions. And to do this, it's really important to know ourselves as well. So free writing is an amazing way to get to know what's going on inside your head. And it's also an incredible way to release all of the subconscious thoughts that you have. And often there's titles to be found in there. So let me explain. With free writing, um, this is an exercise where you sit down with ideally a pen and paper rather than sitting on a laptop because with a pen and paper, things just seem to flow far more easily and you're not, the, the computer's not correcting your spelling as you're going and putting you off. It's a different kind of thought pattern to actually using a computer. So anyway, you sit down with a, a piece of paper, a blank piece of paper and a pen, and in a silent place. If you're sitting on a tube, you can do this, but put on something like noise cancelling headphones. Don't have any music in the background. Don't have any TVs, any voices putting words into your mind, your brain. And right at the top of the, the page, a suggestion of a title. So one of my go-tos is what matters to me. So if you were to write what matters to me at the, at the top of a piece of paper, and then for three minutes, just write. And here are the rules of free writing. Don't worry about grammar. Don't worry about spelling. Don't worry about punctuation. Just write. And don't take your pen off the paper. Even if you find yourself wanting to do that and you're running out of things to say, then just say, I seem to be running out of things to say, and that will actually keep the gates open of this stream of conscious. So, um, so write for three minutes solid about that, and you might be really surprised about what's really going on inside your mind. 
I know it sounds a little bit hippy trippy, but I've got to tell you, it is an amazing exercise to do. Other things that you can free write about are things like, what would I say to myself as a seven year old child? Or what would be the last thing I want to say when I leave this planet? Um, how do I want to change the world? What does love mean to me? What does life mean to me? What does death mean to me? There are so many things that you might want to ask somebody else, but very rarely ask yourself. So I suggest you have a list of these titles, these, these little headings, and maybe every single day you could do this and find out what's going on inside your mind. Believe it or not, you will also come across some incredible titles that without thinking about it, without really consciously trying to think, I must write a title, you're just coming out with them. So it's an amazing way of really getting to know yourself. What I talk to our members about um, with in terms of all of these generation, generation techniques of lyrical ideas is to really open, work it like a muscle. Like when you go to the gym, the more you work a muscle, the better it works. And with me, I, it's my obsession. I see and hear song titles absolutely everywhere. It's like the sixth sense, you know, it's like, I see song titles. They're absolutely everywhere. They're on billboards. They're in adverts in the, in the, in the underground system, on the sides of buses. The adverts on TV, people are paying advertising companies thousands to come up with great one-liners. So switch on this muscle and every day try and think, try and create five brand new lyrical ideas for your songs. They don't necessarily have to end up as the titles of your songs, but they can certainly be amazing springboards for them. So if you do five new lyrical ideas, every single day that's 150 a month okay that is a lot of song titles every year that you can work on and this means you need never have writer's block again so i urge you to try these techniques every time you're watching tv and movie write down the ideas the great lines same with books same with book titles same with the newspapers conversations life experience eavesdropping on other people's conversations they are absolutely everywhere. So don't ever come, come to me and say, I can't think of an idea. It's because you're not looking. So get out there, write down five new ideas every day. And at the end of the month, you can be looking at these ideas and pick your favorite ones, the ones that really fire you up. Write a song, post it up on songwritingacademy.com and say, this came from Free Writing Martin or this came from a newspaper. I'd love to hear where these go. So this is just one of the many things that we talk about in songwritingacademy.com. And if you want to find out how to actually take these ideas and turn them into fully fledged songs, then click on the link below and download our completely free, no strings attached songwriting planner, the song planner. Or you can go to um, songwritingacademy.com forward slash planner and you can download it from there. It's a PDF that you can use to take this lyrical idea and then develop it all the way through using a really simple seven step methodology that will guarantee that you will never get writer's block again. I urge you to try this and I'm really, really looking forward to hearing the results from your lyrical ideas that you're finding out there in the big wide world. Have great fun with it and I'm looking forward to hearing the results.